Hi, I'm T.W. Short, and I'm seeking one of the six seats on the Radcliffe City Council. The biggest challenge we face is our local economy. We have over 60 vacant storefronts, tens of thousands of square feet of vacant retail and industrial space, and a 147-acre industrial park known as Mill Pond Business Center that has been virtually empty since its groundbreaking 12 years ago. The primary economic engine that has driven the Radcliffe economy is and will always be Fort Knox. We have relied exclusively on Fort Knox to our detriment, and now we must take a greater responsibility for growing our own economy. I, along with others, have devoted the last couple of years to helping small businesses in Radcliffe improve. I'm proud of the work that the Radcliffe Small Business Alliance has done to help businesses here. The RSBA is not a political organization. It's a networking organization started by Radcliffe business owners for business owners. Three years ago, even before a few small business owners got together and formed the Radcliffe Small Business Alliance, the concept had been discussed by the chairman of the North Arden Economic Development Authority and Mayor J.J. Duvall. Mayor Duvall was instrumental in helping to launch the Radcliffe Small Business Alliance and his support has impacted the success of the organization. In spite of the work done by the RSBA, we need a much more comprehensive effort to strengthen the Radcliffe economy. In the last four years, we've watched the loss of the Radcliffe Chamber of Commerce, a decline in strength at Fort Knox, and the departure of large local employers. We need an economic plan going forward so that we can develop and strengthen our local economy and be less dependent on Fort Knox. To get better, we're going to have to elect officials that understand that community leadership is about vision. We need visionary leaders that see the challenges, know how to find solutions, that are focused enough to drill down on the issues, and know how to develop plans that get us closer to where we need to be. We'll do this by working together, not by building fences between our city and our partners in, in the county and other cities. We can do this if we get the right people in the right places working on the right issues. We need courageous, smart, creative, dedicated, and energetic leaders, no matter where they come from. I hope you have time to get to know the candidates for mayor and city council and discover what they plan to do to move our city forward. Here is where I stand. I advocate for a city-run economic development entity whose mission is broad enough to consider the entire city, not just one industrial subdivision. I have specific recommendations to improve certain aspects of our city management. And I propose a top to bottom review of the compensation paid to city workers, as well as a look at the process for evaluating performance. I realize that some of these things are outside the purview of a city council person, except through the enactment of legislation. Let me leave you with this as I close. We need a visionary leader that knows how to build consensus to move our city forward. We need city council members that can work together to propose solutions to the largest of our problems and not get bogged down with petty issues. We need an economic plan that keeps the jobs that we currently have and actively prospects for new employers so that we don't have to continue to rely 100% on Fort Knox for our economic stability. We must get the right people in the right places working on the right issues soon though or we'll be faced with an even more challenging situation in our future. On November 4th, we will have a chance to do that. I hope you can get to know all these candidates and make an informed decision about who to elect or re-elect. I'm T.W. Short, I'm number five on the ballot for Radcliffe City Council, and I'm asking for one of your six votes on November 4th so that I can work on these issues at a higher level. Thank you.